Don't let their fluffy looks fool you. This is the most venomous caterpillar in the world. This is a southern flannel caterpillar and we got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. I know, I know. They might look innocent, but like I said before, they're the most venomous caterpillar in the world. So don't let their fluffy outer layer fool you. These fuzzy hairs are not for show. They're basically venomous needles. When they brush against you, these hairs break off and release venom into your skin. But not just you, they're, they're predators as well. And let me tell you, their venom is nothing to play with. It holds toxins that can cause all kinds of trouble. So I'm guessing your question is, where can I find these venomous fluff balls? These guys are located in North and South America. They usually spend their time chilling in trees, plants, and shrubs, just kind of waiting for you to come along and touch them. I'm joking, they, they don't really like conflict. Now picture this, you're tending to your beautiful garden, minding your own business, and then boom, you accidentally touch one of these caterpillars. Those tiny venom filled needles are now injecting that venom into your skin. What happens when you get stung by one, you ask? You're in for a world of pain, nausea, swelling, and fever. All right, now we talked about what happens after you get stung, but we didn't actually talk about how that sting feels. Brace yourself because it's, it's no fun. People who have been unlucky enough to be stung by one of these caterpillars have described it as a red hot poker digging into their skin. Yeah, I know. That doesn't sound like a good time to me either. And that's really not even the worst part. This pain can last for hours and sometimes even days. And here is what it may look like if you're unlucky enough to be stung by one of those caterpillars. And then just imagine the poor people who might have an allergic reaction to these caterpillars. Much worse. But also, did you know that these venomous caterpillars also go by the charming name of pus caterpillars? They also go by the Italian asp, the Pareto, the possum, I gotta use my notes for this, the possum bug, and the woolly slug. You know how P. Diddy went by P. Diddy, Diddy, Puff Daddy, Puffy, it, it, it's kinda like that. And if that wasn't enough info for you, get this. Those caterpillars are just larvae of the southern flannel moth, right here. You'd think something this venomous would grow up to be like some crazy super villain or something. But instead, it just turns into a moth that kind of just flies at the brightest light around them. Life is just full of surprises, right? So there you have it, guys, the Southern Flannel Moth Caterpillar, the most venomous caterpillar in the world. A fuzzy menace that will give you a sting that you won't forget for the rest of your life. Friendly reminder, if you ever come across one of these caterpillars, just give them some space i hope you enjoyed the video the love has been amazing lately man so i just appreciate you guys being here please if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe now and as always guys peace and love baby